Your personal statement can say so much about you and it really can make or break your application. Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Monica and I'm going to be starting medical school in the fall. If you like videos about pre-med, about the MCAT, about my life, about productivity, about study tips, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I release videos every single week. So today I'm going to be talking about how to write the perfect personal statement. I know for myself personally, my personal statement was one of the things that made me stand out as an applicant more than anything else. I had people comment during my interviews about how much they enjoyed reading my personal statement and what they kind of got out of it. Your personal statement can say so much about you as an applicant, it can describe your story, it can really make an argument for why you would be a good medical student. So I have seven tips that I'm going to be talking about. Let's just get into it. Number one, don't over dramatize. One of the things that I notice that students will do often is go down a monologue of terrible and traumatic things that have happened in their life. And what will happen is that along the way you lose track of the purpose of a personal statement. Ultimately with your personal statement, you aren't really trying to get sympathy from the reader. Instead, what you're trying to do is make a case and an argument for why you're going to be a competitive applicant for that graduate school, medical school, college, whatever it is. What you want to be talking about instead is how you overcame those traumatic situations. What did you gain out of it? What did you learn? How did you apply that to your life moving forward? That is what's really going to make you stand out, seem more competent, and give confidence to admissions committees that you're going to be a successful applicant. Number two, always have a theme. One of the things that I also notice that people like to do is almost like chronologically tell their story. But at the end of the day, a personal statement isn't really a story about your life. Again, you're trying to convey a persuasive argument for why you'll be a good fit for your future goals, future career, or for that school in particular. So if you can, try to tie your experiences back to your central theme. For example, if research is something that you're really interested and passionate about, try to tie a lot of your experiences back to research. Pick experiences specifically in the research field because it makes your story a lot more holistic, it makes it flow a lot more rather than just picking and choosing every single aspect of your life since you were a baby. Bottom line, always have a theme. Always have something that you come back to over and over again as a way to demonstrate that you're going to be a successful applicant for their school, for your professional career goals. Number three, journal about significant experiences in your life. Now, journaling is something that is very near and dear to my heart and I think there's so many benefits to it. One of the biggest ways that you can see its benefit is when you're sitting down to write your personal statement. Try to find moments in your life where you've had a significant experience and then journal about it right after. What this allows you to do is rather than just listing accomplishments of your life in your personal statement, you can build more of a narrative and a story about why a particular experience really had a significant impact on you. Remember, it's a lot more important to explain a few significant experiences in your life rather than listing every single accomplishment that you've had during your entire schooling. Number four, try to make your future goals more clear. And what I mean by this is that a lot of people end up talking mostly about things that they've done in the past or things that have happened to them in the past. But what you want to do is also take a little bit of time and focus on what you want to do in the future. For example, if you're trying to go into medical school, how is your medical degree going to help you achieve your future goals? How is your medical degree going to position you in a way where you can accomplish the things that you hope to? Try to find space in your personal statement to really talk about what your future aspirations look like. It makes you seem like a more well-rounded and thoughtful applicant. Number five, start a draft as soon as possible. It can be so challenging to start. It can be so challenging to put pen on paper or to open a blank Word document. But I promise you, the sooner that you start, the sooner that you get a rough draft going, the easier it's going to be to revise and continually edit it to get it to the stage that you want it to be at. Number six, have people review it. Now you're going to get advice from a lot of people saying that you should have everyone and their moms review your personal statement. The more eyes you have on it, the better. I was a little bit more selective and I would encourage you to be as well. Pick people who you respect but might not know as well. They are the best people to give you advice in terms of aspects of your personal statement that weren't that clear. Ask them how you came across. Ask them what parts of it weren't that clear to them. Were there any portions that they just wanted you to get rid of? Were there some things they wanted to know more about? And the reason I say that is because the less that they know you, the more likelihood it is that they can give you this perspective of someone who doesn't really know you that well, which is ultimately what admission committees are. Number seven, and this is the most important tip I can give anyone and everyone writing their essays, writing their personal statements, writing anything at all that you have to show to another person. Be passionate. Be passionate about your experiences, be passionate about what you learned from them, be passionate about the significance that they had in your life. 
talk with passion and don't shy away from using expressive language about talking about your emotions it really helps humanize you to the reader it helps you build that bond with the reader it helps them see you more as a person rather than just a name on paper no matter how much you think someone can't relate to you i promise you the more passionately you speak about something the more it comes across that you truly care about something I promise you, people are going to respond to it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions about writing a personal statement, my DMs are always open. You can just follow me on Instagram and send me a message. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.